G'day traders, this is John House speaking and I'm going to do a bit of a monthly recap in the month of January. I'm just going to see what happened in the month of January and then we're going to go from there and see uh, what we could expect maybe looking forward. Uh, right now we're looking at a weekly chart and you can see we have some trend lines and some moving averages and there's a whole, whole bunch of stuff on the chart right now. But what I want you to really focus on is a couple of things. Uh, one thing we can see we have a blue line coming through here, this blue wavy line. This is the proprietary moving average we use in the trading room. You can see it really works well, um, knocking it down, knocking it down, knocking it down. Now, the one thing we can see through here is this. These slight blue lines, they are support and resistance. They are longer term support and resistance. And you can see right now where the market is. This is a weekly chart and we are between support and resistance lines. Now we are, now we have actually bounced off this level here and bounced off this level through here. Now. That is actually showing some significant sign to the upside. But what I do say is this, this has been pummeled. If I squeeze this chart up through here, if I just squeeze it up as much as I can, you can see this has actually been pummeled and pummeled and then the last little, little squirt, should you say, it just came down and came down. But now you can see the market's just going overall sideways. Now the market's going overall sideways at the moment and it's not showing any significant sign of going up or going down. Now. Right now, what I could expect, maybe looking for uh, February, is maybe a bit of a sideways month. Um, and why I say that is because you can see the market is in in sort of going through a breather right now, going through a breather right now, and it's slowing down. It's, it is volatile still, but it's still staying between major support and major resistance lines. Now, when trading or investing in the market, it's really important to understand these uh, lines because uh, once these uh, these lines are touched or they're validated through the through the market you can see the support and resistance lines they do uh, can act as evidence of it's going to push in that direction or it's going to break in that direction now for example if the market ran up here and it did not resist at this previous support here and broke up that's now not going to be resistance now going to be a push through and it's not going to be res resistance at all so Right now, I can see the market just going overall sideways. Uh, but I do say, I do say this: we have some major support and major resistance lines on the chart. Looking at the chart right now, I can see that if the market does start to break down through here, down this past support, major support down here, and also the major resistance up here, then I could probably see a nice little breakout. Now, to me, it looks like it's trying to form a bottom. But I don't want to be calling bottoms in this market. I just want to go on with a trend, and the trend is down. So um, right now, it is falling, falling with a bit of support. It does look like it's trying to get a bit of a bit of a significant bounce where it is right now, and it is trying to get a bit of a run to the upside. So we'll see what happens in uh, in the month of February. But we'll, but one thing to look at here is um, and always keep in consideration the trend is down. Okay, the trend is down, and the most probability trades are in the underlying direction of the trend. Um, I know the market's been very, very volatile, so that's why, that's why sometimes you have to be very, very patient and waiting for your setups. Um, we in the trading room know that, and we just sit, we sit patiently and patiently and wait for these setups to come. Now we're not right all the time, and so you know, and, and sometimes we have a really bad losing couple of weeks. But overall, if you go check our trading room stats out, overall they're fantastic. Overall, yes, we do have periods of losing, but overall you can do very well in this market only if you stick to a set of rules that work overall. Okay, and uh, we don't expect you to make money in the short. Uh, uh, and we expect to make money in the short term, but if you look at the bigger picture, um, you're gonna you're gonna make sure your money management's under control, your money management, and also your risk management on the on the actual trade itself. So, make sure you keep that in check as well. So, just another thing to look at here. You can see we have a trend line going down through here. Nice trend line going down through there. So I do say if the market does start to pop down through here and keep pushing down, it's likely to keep falling through. And uh, what I call is what, what I'm what I'm calling that is the is the vacuum effect. The vacuum effect is this: the market's going down, it's bouncing, 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 but bounces again and then comes back down. The vacuum the vacuums like to turn on and the, like to suck it through and therefore like to suck it down. So I call the vacuum effect. So I do I do expect more downside to come, but you know the little short term pop to the upside wouldn't actually hurt it at as well. But if we do get a short term pop to the upside, do not fall in love with the upside because because this rally will be short lived and I believe we can get a lot more a lot more downside action to it to come. Uh, thank you very much, traders, for uh, uh, listening. Uh, this is the recap for the month of January. 
once again, I don't see anything happening really sideways action, uh, but we'll see what happens in the US with all the announcements and, and also in Australia with the announcements. But um, I, I think I think the market's ready for a breather. Uh, it has been going for a breather for the last, as you see, as you can see, for the last couple of months. But we'll see what happens overall in the month of February. Once again, keep your keep your plan in check. Come and check us out in the trading room. I know you won't regret it because we are winning overall and we're doing very very well. Thank you very much, traders, for listening, and I'll see you next week.